A blessed Tuesday, everyone. This is Sister Mary Jane of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. Brothers and sisters, in this gospel passage, unclean, implies something opposed to the holy. When something is not fully surrendered to God, it remains open to the influence and dominion of unclean spirits. The man with unclean spirit is portrayed as a person of contradictions. He attends the synagogue service, most likely out of habit. He listens to the teaching of Jesus, but then immediately tells him to back off and not to meddle with his life. Today, we can also come to church out of mere compulsion to fulfill Sunday obligation. As we listen to the proclamation of the word, can we also sense our personal resistances? our defensiveness over certain matters that we want to be left untouched? God must be revealing to us those unclean areas that render us susceptible to the influence of unclean spirits. Jesus offers to purge them for us so that we can experience the freedom and coherence of life of the children of God. Will we allow Him? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Your Word is a lamp that enlightens the dark corners of our life that need Your purification. Conquer our resistance with Your grace. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, 
protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us.